Hello, welcome to Subterrain. We're actually doing very, very well. I'm surprised we're doing this well. So we are the best, and we're trying to beat the best, right? Or we're not the best yet, but we'll be the best. So let's try and fight with Vin. Sure. Arm wrestle? What is the challenge? Oh, it's combat. Can I use my gun? Oh. Attack. Punch. Counter. Well, I suppose we can counter now. Oh, resting restores your HP. I like this. Oh, you take two damage. Well, then uh, we should always attack. down uh, yeah let's punch now yeah. and now I have to counter her punch now we'll counter now hmm, this is tricky she's healing more than I am healing This is just better to strike each other with full force, I guess. <coughs> Why not? <coughs> Wait. Why? I... <coughs> okay. So the last attack will always have to be the counter. Yeah, it, it does. Okay, I'll not even try to explain my logic over here just because I played a lot of War Tales and the stupid, the stupid Captain minigame in their Bellerium Pirates DLC. So that's why I know what to do. There is a certain agent. I'll not bother, just reload <laughs> until you manage to do it. You're not going to connect you with stomach, both of you are exhausted and breathing. Yeah. I guess I have three names on my list of defeats. Well, that's not a lot of that's a lot of names considering how small the base is. You are a fantastic fighter. Not fantastic enough. I just was beginners like in my mutated genes and my nanobots. Also um, the soldier headband. It's only fit for a true warrior. Is it is it the number one headband? <laughs> That wasn't anywhere, reference. The number one headband. Then it's completely trash because you you get it so late into the game that I think this should be thirty percent more experience. I don't know. Seems like it's very big. This should be at least fifteen percent more experience, especially because we're so late into the game when you get it. Now let me pick up my gun. Don't just throw your gun on the ground. Developers, please make a, an animation where you put the gun gently on the sofa or the chairs or whatever it's there. Or over here on the pre bench press station. The bench press station. Okay. That was entertaining. So, as you can see, I'm ready. Also, in case you're wondering what was, what was up with the ashes. The ashes, yes. That's exactly what you think there. After researching them, you get them as a DNA sample. So we have the DNA sample, we have the fertilizer log, we have the treatment vials, the hydrogen battery, the tech chip. The only thing we don't have is the mind control. The furnace blueprints. So I'm, so I'm not really sure where you're supposed to find them. Okay, let's go back. Okay, so I didn't search this area, but as you can see, we have a peculiar wall. And the wall, I have a hunch. 
Let's get a door to a hidden room. Let's wait inside. Even I out for dead bodies, that's not exactly comforting. Should I update my humor protocols to be less morbid in the future? No, no, the, the sense of humor is perfect. It was actually pretty funny, yes, exactly. Also, as you can see, we're here in storage area B. This is where you come down, where you go down the stairs from the elevator. And I guess the... The secret room is kind of hard to notice, but it does appear on the map as a transition point, so I guess that will be a problem. Because it probably shouldn't appear as a transition point. Partners blueprints. Amazing, that's exactly what I needed. So if you have watched my videos until this point, you know how to find all, all of the six camp upgrades. Yeah, so that was the last upgrade I was missing, or the last item I needed for the upgrade. I guess we got pretty lucky. It's okay, we don't need the money anyway, so we can just keep the pistols and the other stuff that will just be vendor fodder. What was this place over here? I like, guess just a secret room with all of the utilities. Probably the developers. If I was the developers, I would add a punching bag or something over here in the middle of the room. Something to make it feel like it should be hidden from others. Or I don't know, maybe a ramen vending machine or I don't know, something silly like that. So the, it's, it would be so silly that it would need hiding. Also, I didn't mention it, but the developers changed the skill, so now the game is not as overpowered as it once was. Again, the developers are balancing the game the proper way, but I guess I... Some people will be upset about this. As you can see, this no longer gives you two bullets at the same time, and at max level it would give you three bullets at the same time. Now it just gives you a small chance of preserving your round, your turn. But that's actually a very, very small chance, so it will be kind of like, what, 10% chance to keep your turn, so that will, I don't know. That's basically a useless perk at this point, but I'll still get it, because it feels nice. You only shoot on bullets, but the bullets we shoot are actually super damaging right now. You can see that it was not because we were shooting two bullets we did so much damage, no, no. We did so much damage because we are just super strong with our weapon. Where are we? East area mine B. Well, this is not even where I wanted to go, but I guess we can continue down this path to see where it leads. Hmm. Cave mushrooms? I haven't seen the cave mushrooms in, in such a long time. You yeah, just mine and then shoot a bullet and kill an enemy. And the enemy still die pretty fast. I guess that was the damage from the blast. You can unload on the enemies. Really there are no enemies left to unload on. I think I'll just... I think I'll just load my gun from the inventory system because it's not that bad. Seems like it's a little faster than always dragging the loot. Always dragging the bullets into the hot bar. It also makes sense that the bodies would dis disintegrate like that, so I don't mind. And we still have to go to the Fire pit, and also we have another area to search for a secret, which will be the one that had water in it. But I, I kind of know the pathway to that area. Oh, 
So let's try and let's enjoy the game for a little bit yet. As you can see, in some videos I just make a lot of progress, in other videos I just, you know, explore the game at my own pace because I have to do a lot of off camera stuff as well. First shot and brutal shot. We got a chance. I guess burst shot is kind of useless if you have unload. What is the point of burst shot when you have unload? I guess it's a lower adrenaline cost and a lower cooldown, but you can just use unload. Whatever. That's still lithium, I need titanium. Yeah, as you can see the powers are basically useless at this point of the game, so I guess you have to go full on board of the powers. Okay, game. The game is still being creepy and as you can see the game is basically every day a patch and they're actually fixing a lot of stuff and balancing a lot of stuff yeah but I guess some things just will go through the cracks and this is actually helping me right now because now I can use my rifle a lot more since I don't lose so much durability Okay, so we already have found B09. Poison ejector, extreme poison. It's just a poison throwing device. Is it really worth it? I wish we could rotate the items. Hmm. Extreme poison, extreme acid. So that requires uh, 15 nano. What about this one. 15 nano as well. Well, as long, but the game doesn't really tell me which enemies are weak to poison or which enemies are weak to acid. That was the entire purpose of this mine over here to give me an item I will not really need. I guess it does have a lot of resources compared to the other areas, but then I also have to go back the same way. Ah yes, I guess there's no other way around it, I have to start researching the belt stuff. That's also a lot of weapons, as you can see I could have researched a lot of weapons a long time ago. Not upgrade the rest of the stuff back home. Because I don't have the titanium ore needed. I assume this is everything I needed to go and watch. Uh, I have a time consuming ac action over here more than anything else. Why did the acid come back? I thought I was rid of it. Uh, 
sorry, this will take a while. As you can see, acid is not the most pleasant activities. Acid, an acid bath is kind of a very unpleasant activity. Wait, that was my last item. Well, this will hurt a bit. Yeah, okay, I... Uh... Mm, maybe I should just give up on exploration because it seems like I found most of the stuff I was supposed to find anyway. I guess you cannot use it from the container directly. leave the splint we'll just take the bandages i have a feeling something will fall in our on our head kind of disappointing this area over here i think i searched everywhere though now it did look like there was a secret there but that's just because of the perspective I'll just assume that's everything. If there was something else, eh. next time. Well, at this point of the game, I should just probably go to the mine. Mine 9, so I can find the elevator there. Nah. Let's do some editing. Okay, I finally figured out how to do this. So as you can see, when you're over here in T07 West Area Mine B, you sadly just have to hug the wall and wait until you see the message. It was kind of a hidden one. So yeah, probably the hardest one to see in the game so far. Just stick to the wall over here until it says, I thought I saw something. Come on, leave me alone. What? Another one? Don't reserve. Why are you missing so much? Yeah, run that way. I don't think the fire killed it. Okay, so let's see what was over here that gave me so much headaches. Park storage B02. Oh! Hey, that's where it was. We can finally go over there. 
Now, I guess we can just walk over there. I don't think we need to make another edit to go to the fire area. The fire area should be the next area over here. Do we need to repair the rifle or... We... Yeah, we can repair it one more time. On the other hand, it feels like my bullets are going to last a lot longer than I used to... I don't know, I used to have them for... I think we have to go down here. Well, I guess it's settled. We have to go to the fire area and the park now because we have the key card. And uh, if we do that, we'll basically have everything wrapped up. Everything that we have seen so far. I think we have to go down here. This is just the other area where we just have a lot of, you know, poison, fog. Yeah, this is the area, see? I kind of remember what I need to do. <laughs> so if I use all of my abilities, I cannot even kill a slug. Well, that's not encouraging for the nano... Abilities, well, I guess they'll be stronger over time as well. As we get more mutation and other stuff. Guess what? Need to do a little bit of base defense in a while. Anyway, let's just save over here, you know, just in case we burn up by accident and die. So the farm one had the minigun, I wonder what the park has. The park should also have something similar to a minigun. And I think it's just better to walk all the way and then use a healing item. We should have a lot of healing items. Yeah, we should have a lot of healing items, but we don't. Well, laser visor. <laughs> okay, so now we can shoot laser. We became Cyclops. Well, that's disappointing. Uh, I guess we can make some room now. We need to use our Kung Fu skills for this one. Yeah. What does it say? Nano energy. Well, I guess it's the same damage, so it's for to 70 but this is extreme burn so i guess i like to burn my enemy instead of you know washing them with acid or poisoning them this feels like it's the better choice okay so we're at the park just go to b02 and just go down the stairs not very bad not very hard what are you a mass braver what do you do punch me? I guess you punch me, or you are going to try to punch me. Yes, yeah, so I probably if you just finish the game too fast, you'll have a lot of problems with these enemies inside the tiny rooms. So the secret is in a secret area, or what are you trying to tell me, game? Probably. Yeah, not you can keep the shotgun shells and the little balls. I don't think I need them. I mean, I don't need most of the loot anyway, but I'm just trying to see if there is anything special. So this should be another weapon over here. So I guess this will be a secret in a secret. Oh, the secret tech rifle. Oh, okay, it's a chainsaw. It's a triangle chainsaw. I mean, Broom, broom. Cut for your enemies in no time. The damage itself seems like it's not that good. Maybe because it's a bad quality. Maybe if we make it again, it will be better.
Mai era mai supost cu tech de shotgun în mine. Aici am put my flame resistance suit in here. And then just simply craft another one. Yeah, I guess that works as well. Chainsaw unlocked. Yeah, let's take the high capacity battery as well. So, I guess that's all of the secret items for now. 